four supplements that you need and that deserves your money and your time. Let's go. Hey, 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 what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, today we're gonna speak about supplements before we dig in don't forget guys to like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already it really helps the channel to reach more people and uh, grow the channel so let's dig in number four is vitamins all right so you ask uh, like so many people ask themselves what are vitamins do i really need them are they really important for me so we're gonna break it down to you guys now to explain to you more guys, uh, we're going to talk about two different types of components. So you have micronutrients and so micronutrients, uh, they are vitamins and minerals. And then you have macronutrients, which are protein, fat and carbohydrates. Unfortunately, your body does not know how to create these vitamins. That's when the supplements comes in pictures even though you have a balanced diet uh, i don't believe that anybody in this world can uh, make sure to have the like that amount of, of vitamin that he needs daily from the from the food itself so that's why they're called supplements especially if you are in a harsh diet so for sure you are missing on some vitamins so that's why the multivitamin will help you to get in uh, to put in in your body uh, the most important vitamins now we pass to number three number three guys in the, on the list is omega-3 or fish oil fish oil guys or omega-3 important for your body and it's as well same like the vitamins that your body cannot produce so you have to depend on an uh, external source and it's very important supplement for the people who works out and even for the people who are not working out and the omega-3 it has three main components the ALA EPA and DHA so for example the ALA you can get it from nuts EPA you can get it from seafood let's say from salmon and basically from uh, fish so not everyone is so rich to get all uh, this uh, fatty acids from uh, seafood so you, because you cannot eat seafood every day that's why supplements comes again into picture some of the benefits of fish oil are uh, it reduces the risk of getting um, uh, heart diseases as well as reduce inflammation in the body and help make your joints and bones more stronger now we pass to number two the number two in this list is the whey protein and the whey protein guys is the bread and butter of the building muscle like for me personally i it's one of my favorite uh, supplements because when you don't have uh, enough time to get in more meals so that's the easy way out that's the easy protein uh, that you can get to your body it's just you reach for a shaker uh, you put uh, I don't know how much that you're taking protein you know per your diet you so one scoop scoop and a half two scoops and you just shake it and boom you got already a meal so the whey protein as well has many categories I'm gonna make a video explaining the uh, types of whey protein this is why I consider it one of the most important uh, supplements in your diet because if you're not getting enough protein into your body just kiss goodbye building muscles there is no way that you can build muscles without getting uh, the right amount of protein in your body uh, as per your diet of course since we're still in the whey protein subject i just want to uh, just want to tell you guys that if you cannot afford to get a whey protein jug don't take it as a reason that you cannot build muscles all right if you can get uh, enough meals if you can get enough protein from the food itself there is no need and i'm saying it and i am saying it again there is no need for you to take whey protein all right as uh, i said guys and at the end it's 
um, it's a supplement it's a supplement so it's something extra so when you don't have the time or you cannot uh, reach your protein uh, target per day from the food uh, itself because I can understand that uh, some people come and tell me that I cannot uh, you know put in this much of food in my body the entire day I cannot just sit around and keep on eating you know and waiting and, and then only eating I don't have the time for that I'm working or I'm, I'm studying or whatever whatever so that's why when the protein comes into picture uh, it's easy uh, so uh, that's what I'm saying guys if you cannot afford it or if you cannot reach for it just uh, make sure to get your enough protein from your food so roughly 80 grams of uh, chicken breast equals to one scoop of protein so you buy when you get protein in your body guys your body doesn't know that this is a protein powder and this is chicken breast or this is fish protein is protein all right so once you get your target your daily target uh, of protein it doesn't matter you get it from uh, powder you get it from the real food it doesn't matter as long as you reach it now we move to number one number one on the list guys is creatine if you ask me the most uh, satisfying uh, supplement in the world is creatine so every penny that you pay for creatine it's really really worth it uh, you're not throwing your money and creatine guys is considered as the most studied supplement. you feel like uh, when the, the, the scientists don't have anything to do they're like okay let's take creatine let's make some studies on it that's what that's how it feels like because there are so many studies out there guy about about uh, creatine you can go and check it out by yourself I'll put the link below in the caption now there are some people that will come and they will tell me that hey uh, bro the, the creatine uh, gives you water retention first let us explain the water in your body your water in your, the water in your body guys it's divided to two kind of water the first is the intracellular which is the one inside the cell and the second one is extracellular and that's the one which is outside of the cell and that's the one that is between the muscle and the, the skin and that's the, the only water that makes you look uh, like you're puffy you're fluffy so basically that's the water that you need to look out for and the intracellular guys is the one that gives you that round and full shape so creatine actually does water retention but it does water retention mostly in the intracellular if you are training and if you are a bodybuilder you need from 5 to 10 grams per day I'll tell you guys that food has creatine however you cannot reach your target which is 5 to 10 uh, grams from food only imagine with me guys for 5 grams 5 grams of creatine you have to eat half kg of red meat every day so imagine that half kg of red meat every day I went and I bought creatine what is the dosage how much I should take uh, how many how many scoops I should take per day so there are two methods to approach uh, creatine guys so the first method is to take 20 grams per day for five days so five days you take 20 grams per day so uh, that's four scoops and then after five days that's called the loading phase after five days you take five grams only which is one scoop so the second method guys is to take 10 grams per day for 10 days and after that that's a loading phase and after that you take 5 grams per day only as well guys when you go and buy creatine there are so many types of creatine and the most studied types is creatine monohydrate oh yeah there you go there you got it guys creatine is one of the most important supplements if you want to build quality muscles that's a wrap fam uh, these were uh, the four most supplements that you need in your regimen or in your diet uh, if you want to be in the best shape of your life and these are the most supplements that deserve your time and your money all right guys thank you again for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not and uh, I will see you in the next video peace